Good evening, everybody. Movie Fan 2002 here. And considering that we're now at the start of April, I thought I might as well just give you guys my quick movie reviews for the movies I saw in March. I wasn't really going to do like full reviews for some of them, but considering of the... Of the... T but considering like of my like my schedule like during that time, I was, was like kind of busy. Especially I was getting ready for finals and stuff. <sighs> But now that I'm on spring break, I feel like now could be a good time for me to do it. So these are uh, so these are my quick reviews for all the movies I saw in March. Okay, let's get started. The first movie I saw in March is Creed 3. Now, I, and I'm going to be honest, I love this movie. I freaking love this film. Yeah, this movie was great. Like, It definitely continued of what made the, the first two movies very good. Well, I do like the first Rocky and Creed films a little bit more. This was still a really great... Great feature. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan did a great job both, both on and off camera, like both, both acting wise and directing wise. He definitely knew what he was doing. Jonathan Majors, despite now um with the recent controversy, still did a great job with, with his performance, and I just really liked him, as Damien. That was, was great. The, the the boxing scenes were were intense as always. Um, the drama still hits very hard. And it's very good. In fact, if this is the last film of the, of like the Rocky slash Creed franchise, I wouldn't mind if they stop here, because they had a good run. Like ended while it's on a high note instead of like let let it, let it run dry. Okay, the next week I saw sixty five, and to be perfectly honest, I know a lot of people were bashing on this one, and like saying it kind of sucked. Honestly, while I do, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was, wasn't was all that good. I, okay, yeah, it wasn't perfect, but I somewhat enjoyed it. Yes, there were, there were some confusing plot points, like the story wasn't all that interesting, and maybe there were some characters that were just, nah. But I did enjoy Adam Driver's performance. The visuals were pretty pretty engaging, and there were some really fun action sequences, and, and there were some intense moments. So it did... That at least did have my attention like throughout the, the course of the feature. It's not bad, but it could have been been better in my opinion. Anyways. Then we have Shazam Fury of the Gods. Now, again, similar to 65, this movie got like some mixed reviews, like on Ron Tomatoes. To be perfectly honest here, while I don't think it's as good as the first movie, I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was actually was it was pretty fun. At least in my opinion. I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, I w it wasn't a a perfect. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a perfect film because I did thought like um, there were like some plot points like involving like I thought like the climax wasn't started like a little bit too soon than expected, and there were s some parts where I thought like it wasn't like that funny and maybe, but I still enjoyed it all around. The movie was still very funny. There were some, it's not some compelling. Some some compelling characters like some co compelling characters. It still contained like the emotional core of the first film. I like that they gave the wizard a much better role. And personally, in my opinion, I kind of like the villains a little bit here more than I did with the villain in the first film. I mean, just really like the daughters of Atlas. Yeah, I just hope we'll still get to see Shazam like in the like in the new DC universe after the Flash movie. Yeah, then. Last week we had John Wick Chapter Four, which so far is my favorite movie of this year, and I'm sure everyone could agree that this movie was spectacular. Like, like yeah, just John Wick Chapter Four was just amazing. I love this movie. I mean, like everything about it was just excellent. Like the action has been taken to the next level. Like this is like the best action of the franchise. Um, like the, the performances were great. Like the score was fantastic. The, the cinematography, like the story, everything about it, like. Amazing. Now apparently there are rumors there 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 is said to be a fifth film. In fact, Letterbox did kind of confirm it, but that's gonna depend for although Keanu Reeves and the movie's director of of the all four films decide that they're gonna be like taking a break for a while. So maybe it won't be happening until like sometime in the future, but that depends. And I don't wanna like give away the ending for those who have yet to watch it. But yeah. For me, but yeah, I enjoyed 
George I. Will Cry, chapter 4. Loved it. It was an awesome movie. Just loved it. And finally, the they have Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. This one I just saw last night. And and again, I, I actually liked this one. I thought it was actually a lot better than, than what I was expecting for. Maybe because like the early positive reactions like said like, like this movie was going to be like very good. And I just really enjoyed it. Like, like yeah, there was just so much great stuff in, in here. I was genuinely impressed like with with the movie like it was very good like i really liked this movie like it was just so good i just had such a great time with it yeah yeah if, if you get a chance to see dungeons and dragons honor among thieves please go ahead in fact my i think my brother said he's gonna be like seeing it today i think he probably probably already saw it by now i don't know but yeah all right those those are gonna be my my quick movie reviews for for the films I saw in March of 2023, let me know what movies you saw in theaters this month. I'm, I'm in lot of in March, and till the next video comes, peace and take care.